long before I even had grass in my backyard, I started collecting rocks. And this rock collection grew and grew. And I started to think about the idea of building a waterfall. But not just any waterfall. A poundless waterfall where I wouldn't have to have standing water. So, my dream is realized. Okay, starting to prep the area for my poundless waterfall. Basically, these what they call eco blocks will be buried here where you see the earth at uh, along with that uh, container over there which houses the pump now I thought about going with milk crates but you know milk crate in comparison and strength and size to the equal blocks is just night and day. They're, they're just not the same. You know, if you put two of these blocks, the uh, milk crates next to this, it would still be short and a lot flimsier. Uh, so, what I gotta do here is level this ground here. So, I'm gonna use some rocks to level up these bricks here. I'll dig out this area, throw in the dirt up there, fill it in that space, and sort of try and make a, a stair step type of effect. Uh, the area is a lot smaller than I, I wanted to do. I wanted to originally flow all the way down here, but my wife got these plants here. Uh, so that's going to disrupt that. Eventually we'll get a trellis to hide that air conditioner. So I sort of put that retaining wall there just to sort of mark off that space where those uh, trellis fences are going to be. And so we'll get started here. The hardest. Okay, well, I'm well into the hole. Still got quite a bit to go. I don't think this matrix block will fit down in here quite right just yet. Got quite a mound going here. A lot of extra dirt. Yeah. So, still has a little ways to go to get that thing in there. It's got to be a lot lower than that. Uh, okay, so I got the hole dug, but I ran into a little snag. I couldn't get the last equal block in, so I'm using the four of these uh, milk crates. The alternative was to pull this all out and dig and make the hole a little wider but uh, I'm not gonna do that so now I just gotta start shaping this waterfall area here and hook everything up okay so now that I have the equal blocks installed I end up using all three took the milk crates out uh, got the pump line the holes going back but now I'm back filling so I gotta get this dirt in between the liner and the equal blocks for their space that's in here see there I need to get that dirt down in there so that it fills that up makes that a tight fit Just testing out the system. I need to work on these levels. The first level is pretty good. The second level is a little shallow. And we gotta figure out which rock go where.
rock placement is very important uh, with your waterfall. You want to have uh, areas of interest. So you want to take uh, unique rocks that have unique color or texture and, and place them in such a way that their natural beauty is on display. Uh, my intent with this waterfall was to have visual interest from any sitting point in the yard but also when you're up on it where it can be overwhelming have areas that allow you to have visual interest and, and create artistry in itself to allow you to pinpoint to certain areas and focus on those every time you look at it you'll notice something new or something unique or something different from the last time you you viewed it so you gotta take that in consideration when designing it um, I want it to be big enough to be seen from anywhere in the yard anywhere from the patio to the pergola area to, to the fire pit area make it a work of art that stands alone on its own. Okay, so this is what I end up with. Uh, again, it's always a work in progress. Got a rock over there with some moss on it. I still have to bury that. And uh, you can see the line there. Yeah, it used to be buried, so they're trying the right spot to put it so it's buried to only the moss shows. I got my stump here with moss. Built a little bench here that I can sit on. They'll eventually be out with like dead grass here. I'm going to combine the bed. This bed with the rock with the, the bed I'm going to create with those three trees. So, so I got some vegetation on the falls here. Got some Jacob's letter on the top. Some stuffing it there. And the vine plant there that's in the rock. So I'm pretty pleased with the outcome. I did, uh, I still have to play around with the shells to get the water to flow exactly where I want it. Um, but I call this my uh, rock candy shop. There's a lot of beautiful rocks. You know, just everywhere. Beautiful colors. Kind of all the past days and rainy all night. Uh, but the rocks are simply beautiful. So I have my main fall, the secondary, and then the final. The final is the one that has the least water going across it because more of the water is going behind it or under it. You see the flow beyond it. So I just have to work on that lower shelf. So see I extended the stream out so that I can so I can create an area where the birds can bathe. Still staying with my secondary baby falls over there because I don't want it to be so artificial or symmetric. Symmetric, I just want it to be natural. The water goes where it wants to go. It don't always go where you want it to go or where you think it should go. And so, I like that little trickle of water there. Helps with the sound. So I go sit on my bench here. And this is my view from my bench. I can just come out here and sit. Eventually I'll put some tall grasses behind this here to block the view of that house there and also give privacy from the, the rear of the house to the uh, our backyard here. Um, but a nice little, little piece of paradise right here in my backyard. I really like the stream. Space is real rapid beyond the fog. Comes out to a very small pool. I'm 
thing about combining this, uh, having this string stretch over and, and stretch out that water combined here in the center, but you know, that's the nice thing about it. Everything here is dry stacked. Uh, even though I can climb on top of this thing, it's built like a house, uh, like a, uh, a house. It's very sturdy, it's not going anywhere. It's, it's all dry stacked, so I can move anything around any point in time and change up, change up the fog. I can move one rock and create splash so that I keep a, a particular rock wet and so you can see, like the face of this rock is just incredible. Uh, so, that's the Brooks waterfall. Uh, I may have to put this on uh, Google Maps and make it a, a local area monument. Brooks Falls. So you can incorporate natural rock that's out here. There's artwork. Every one of these rocks, uh, aside from the flat pieces that make the fog and that little aisle there, everything was naturally found in the area. Even these two pieces here that sort of form like the shoes, so like little footprints walking up to the falls. So well, that's fun with the creation. Find beautiful rocks. Nice placement of those rocks. I love this centerpiece stone. Was very fortunate to find that. Very beautiful. Got nice little sharp edges. And it was a very, very beautiful, beautiful rock. Pleased with all the rock choices. Even put in some that has natural staining to keep it as natural. I like to have these two larger stones to sort of create that main fall. Decent sized rocks and second step and larger rocks to complete the, the base of the fall. And just kept it natural. There's this falls just sort of blend into the landscape. 